Now, as a, a consultant, a business uh, guru, an entrepreneur, I suppose that uh, me and you agree on uh, that businesses actually build a, the economy, okay? In, because I, once upon a time in my younger days, I used to think the government build the economy, okay? Nowadays, uh, I now know that uh, the government only make the environment uh, suitable for businesses to build the economy, okay? In terms of innovation, creating jobs and paying taxes, okay? So how can African countries encourage entrepreneurship and help small businesses grow. Now, why am I focusing on small businesses? Because small businesses contribute a lot, a lot of jobs and taxes to any vibrant economy. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. And uh, this is what I will say. You know, uh, government and then the business yeah. of government. Now, uh, one of the things you, I mean, from your opening is that you also think that government should do the business. Yes. Now, a lot, a lot of people say government have no business, uh, have, have no business in business, all right? Okay. But the truth is that uh, everything, see, has a lot to do with the, you know, with the government or policy or, you know, or, or what have you. But more importantly, the business of the government in business will be to create an enabling environment. Environment, yes. The responsibility of government is to create an enabling environment for businesses. Yes. Now, the second level is to see what are the opportunity that there exist. Okay. And how we can we give, provide some support. Mm. Okay. Now, I've always said this, especially when I talked about entrepreneurship. And yeah. I said from my research, I realized that the greatest economy of the world, the economy that are thriving, are built on entrepreneurship. Yes. More importantly, they are built on small businesses. Yeah. So when you look at the GDP contribution of a whole lot of small businesses, entrepreneurs, you realize that it's much more than when you put all the bigger more uh, corporations, bigger multinationals together. All right. So yeah. for any nation that really had the interest of the economy at heart and that really looks to the future, they must always have policies, policies that we help entrepreneurs and small businesses. Small businesses, yeah. Now, entrepreneurs will power small businesses. But yeah. let's talk about ent entrepreneurship as it were. Okay. The, a, a simple description that I give when I speak about entrepreneurs are just people that bad ideas and hoping to take risk, all right? So this set of people, we always have different innovative idea, different innovations, different idea that they think could solve problem. You yeah. know, and one of the things I've said over time that people need to know is that entrepreneurs are problem solvers. Solvers, yes. So I say to people, any business that is not focused on solving problem, then so much, will be desired so much mm. will, will be desired about that business because what is the future of that business yeah if you build a business or on profit or opportunity okay i see opportunity and i want to make money then that business will not stand 10 times yeah but if the business is built around solving problems okay then you can realize that look do we be in the business and where am i going so if entrepreneurs are about giving uh, innovative ideas to solve problems that means that the more problem entrepreneurs evolve the more problem they are able to solve the more solutions they are able to bring on board, the more employment, the yeah. more revenue, yeah, the more expansion Profit. of the economy mm -hmm. become. And then that leads to the small businesses. Why have we not come about small business? Businesses, I mean, if you look at uh, our economic definition of small businesses, which I have always contend with, we talk about businesses that, that can be floated for 500 million, you know. Those ones are not really small business. <laughs> okay, we're talking about businesses that can barely operate with one million naira. But you find that a business that will start with two hundred thousand naira will see 
you get to a point that it will need to employ either one person or two yeah. that the business keep on growing. And there are businesses like that that start from even just the corner of someone's own room or offices. And then the businesses have become, I mean, conglomerate. And I know a few of them, and I've worked with a few of them too. So small yeah. businesses then help to resolve or solve the unemployment problem. Yeah. And then they expand the economy. And then before you know it, they spring up there and there and there. But if the government, like I said, responsibility is to look at one of those four policies that can make it simple. One of the things this current government in Nigeria has tried to do was to evolve the ease of doing business. But realize that the ease of business is just more of theoretic because at the mm. end of the day, an average small businesses on the road could not feel the impact. Now, at a point in time, they said they gave the opportunity for small businesses to open, I mean, to register with CAC free. I tested that process. I realized that it was just, just one of those things that we say as government and people that want to achieve, and it will not come to bear. So yeah. if you must do it, we must be intentional. You can also want to uh, support small business by raising different kind of form of taxes. Taxes, yes. These businesses. So yeah. government, government must reorder their powers. They must mm. be intentional. They must mm. be more focused. They must be more deliberate about their policies to make the business environment more ease and simplify yeah. for small businesses. So that is very important for us. So organization grow or mission grow when they are able to make a very realistic policies that will encourage small business. You know, sometimes, and I mean, we, we don't take uh, we don't take on of this. The, the the roadside woman that sell things, I mean, that sell petty trade yeah. of five thousand naira, and you will find out that that kind of woman has sent somebody to university. Yeah, then you ask yourself, how how are they be able to do it? You know, sometimes when I drive on the street of Lagos and I ask myself, all these hawkers that run after vehicle to sell things, how do they make money? But I said to myself, if these guys are not making money, they will money, They will hear. That's it. <laughs> but some guy like, I feel like buying off everything this guy is selling. And I feel like if I buy it off, the guy will come back some day because he's going to make profit. Yeah. But that's not the best. That's not the kind of business that really anybody will. Because I can also imagine the kind of pain and stress they will go through even ultimately when they make the money. Yeah. So the money might still go back to them taking care of themselves. Yeah. So, but we are talking about people that also do all those petty trade. People do business of 50,000 and they are turning it around to 500,000. So we, people need, I mean, this small business need a lot of encouragement from our government. It's yeah. more, more, more deliberate and intentional encouragement really, from the government. That's true. Uh, let me drop it at that. That's true.